Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. I decided I was going to put together this little video on these fitness trackers. Um, I did a review where I compared the Fitbit Charge here to the Fitbit Flex. And it seems to have gotten a pretty good response. I've had several people ask me different questions about the fitness trackers just different things about them and how they worked and stuff. So I thought I'd put together this little video and just give you an idea of the different types and the benefits, or more or less the pros and cons with each one. Now I'm gonna start off with the Fitbit Charge here. And the nice thing about the, the Fitbit Charge is it has kind of a, a stylish band um, fits real well. It's real comfortable. And this tracker does quite a few different things. It does monitor your steps, the steps that you've taken, the distance that you've gone, the calories that you've burned, the number of stairs you've climbed or the floors you've gone up. It has active minutes, so if you're very active, it keeps track of that as well. And it has a sleep tracker so when it's in sleep mode it lets you know how many times you've been awake or restless and it also has a caller ID so when you sync it or pair it with your smartphone um, the number or the name of the person that is calling will come across the screen so in essence this displays your daily stats and the time of day because it does have a watch monitors sleep and it also has an alarm setting where it will vibrate and wake you up. So it won't wake up your partner. It'll just vibrate and wake you up. Now it does have a rechargeable battery that lasts 7 to 10 days. And everything that you get in the box when you buy the Fitbit Charge includes the tracker, the charging cable, and a wireless sync dongle. And this is the dongle that comes with these and you'll get one of these with whatever fitness tracker you purchase. Now the Fitbit Charge comes in black, slate, burgundy, or blue, and they all come in a small, large, and extra large band. There is a sizing chart that lets you know what size you need to buy for your wrist size, and the Fitbit Charge can be purchased for $129.95. You can purchase it from Fitbit.com. You can also look for it at Best Buy, Walmart, and, you know, any retailer like that. I believe Dick Sporting Goods, you know, several of the different um, big chain stores carry them. Target carries them as well. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about, I don't actually have one because it's the Charge HR. So it's just like this one, has all the same features pretty much. Um, it does, the HR stands for heart rate. So again, it keeps track of your steps, your distance that you've traveled, calories burned, has caller ID, also keeps track of the number of stairs climbed or floors that you've gone up, has a continuous heart rate monitor that takes your heart rate from your wrist, keeps track of your active minutes, sleep tracking, and alarm as well. So in essence, you have continuous automatic wrist-based heart rate monitoring, displays daily stats, time of day, and caller ID, records run stats, routes, um, splits, and workout times, monitors sleep and awake and wakes you with a silent alarm. The rechargeable battery lasts five plus days. And what you get in the box includes the tracker, the charging cable, wireless sync dongle. Now the um, Fitbit Charge HR comes in black and plum only and the band sizes are small, large, and extra large and this one will set you back $149.95 the next one I don't have because I don't need all the features of that fitness tracker and that's the Fitbit Surge now the Surge is about twice as wide as this and has a digital clock I will put a picture of the Surge right in here where you can see what it looks like. 
but the surge has a GPS feature on it. It also does continuous heart rate, has all day activity, stats and sleep, includes smart notifications and music control. Now the size does vary across all these trackers so you'll definitely want to take and make sure you're getting the right one for your wrist size. With the surge it's going to keep track of steps, distance, calories burned, caller ID, stairs climbed or floors climbed, continuous heart rate, it's going to keep track of your active minutes, it does have GPS tracking, sleep tracking and alarms, music control and notifications. So in essence you're getting the GPS records your distance, your pace, the elevation, route, and split times that it's taking you to walk or run wherever you're walking or running. Continuous automatic wrist-based heart rate records running, cross-training, and cardio workouts. The rechargeable battery lasts seven plus days and this tracker includes music control plus call and text notifications. What you get in the box includes the tracker, the charging cable, and wireless sync dongle. The surge comes in black, so that's what you're going to get is the black color only. Um, it does have a small, large, and extra large band, and the surge is going to set you back $249.95. Now next, we have the Fitbit Flex. This is this orange one. You can get this one in many, many colors. Now, this activity band does not have, it has a screen which only has five lights that show up. So you're not going to get any digital readouts like you do on the Charge or the Surge or the Charge HR. But on this, it's still going to keep track of your steps, distance that you've traveled, um, calories burned, sleep tracking and alarm, and your active minutes. So this one does not track the number of stairs or floors that you've climbed. So in essence, this shows your daily goal progress with LED lights. The closer you are to your goal, the more lights will light up on here. It monitors your sleep and wakes you with a silent alarm if you so choose to use it. Included in the box is the tracker, a small and large wristband, charging cable, and wireless sync dongle. Now the colors this comes in is black, slate, violet, lime, pink, teal, tangerine, which is this one, navy, red, and blue. And this fitness tracker will cost you $99.95. The next one is the Fitbit One. The Fitbit One, a lot of women seem to really like this one because it has the clip on the back. Uh, it does come out of the case to be charged. It has a charging cable of course and my wife uses this one and she really likes it because she can hook it discreetly um, to the inside of her bra or inside of a pocket wherever you really want to hook it so it's discreet and it's out of the way and it's not really being seen. Now the one thing I forgot to mention on this one when you want to charge it the actual module pops right out of the back and you can charge it, hooks to the charging cable and you charge it, put it back in, you just slide it in and it sits securely. This one is waterproof, this one is not. So on the one, again this one tracks your steps, the distance you've traveled, calories burned, floors or stairs climbed, and monitors your sleep. In essence it displays daily stats and time of day, monitors sleep, and wakes you with a silent alarm. It is sweat, rain, and splash proof and includes the clip, a wireless sync dongle, charging cables, and a sleep band. The sleep band fits securely on your wrist with a very light hook and loop system. And you take the, the tracker out of, out of the clip here and put it inside the sleep band and it, that's how you monitor your sleep and get um, woken up in the morning with it. 
This comes in black and burgundy. This is the burgundy one. And this one will cost you $99.95. Next, we have the Fitbit Zip. The Zip tracks steps, distance, and calories burn. It's kind of like a pedometer on steroids. So in essence, it displays your daily stats and time of day. It is sweat, rain, and splash proof. It has a replaceable battery that lasts four to six months. So you're not going to be able to charge this one. You'll just replace the battery every four to six months. It includes the clip that you see here so it can be clipped on you know, discreetly. The wireless sync dongle and battery tool for opening or unlocking the back of the, the unit. And this one also just pops in and out. And that is the back of the unit. The tool fits in there and it unlocks and you replace the battery. The battery is a CR2025 3 volt battery. So not really expensive to replace the battery. And the unit fits securely in here. Now the colors this comes in is charcoal, lime green, blue, pink, and white. And this one will cost you $59.95. While these are all great for, for tracking your fitness and keeping you motivated, as you can tell, each one has its pros and cons. Um, most of them have a screen like the Charge, the Charge HR, and the Surge, the Fitbit One, and the Fitbit Zip. The only one that doesn't come with a screen is um, the Fitbit Flex, but it does have the five little lights that light up to show you how close you are to your goal. If you've set your goal for steps um, and you see uh, four little lights on there, you know you're real close to your goal. This one is waterproof. Wear it in the shower and you're not going to have a problem. And as you can see, I just tapped it there and the, the lights come on. Where with the charge, you push the button and it cycles through everything and you know lets you know what your goal setting is. Same way with this one, the battery may be dead. Yep, battery's dead in this one, haven't used it, hasn't been charged. It's actually another member of the family's. Um, yeah, I do not, ha these are not all mine. The charge is mine. The rest of these, other members of the family um, use these and I borrowed them to do this review. Now, I'm going to move these out of the way for just a second because there is one more item that I would like to show you. That is the Aria Fitbit scale. Now this is a bathroom scale. It is a Wi-Fi smart scale. This measures your weight, your BMI, your lean mass, and your body fat percentage. You have to stand on this scale barefooted, uh, no socks, because it does have some sensors in the top of it that kind of scan your entire body and come up with all these uh, great figures for you. This syncs wirelessly to your computer and you will have basically it uses Wi-Fi to sync stats automatically and wirelessly to your computer. Charts trends and progress on your dashboard. When you buy a Fitbit you set up a dashboard on Fitbit.com and you have a login and everything and you can go in and you'll see all your stats there's charts and graphs for you everything to let you know how you're doing and it charts the trends and your progress towards those goals that you have set up and it recognizes up to eight users privately so when you stand on the scale it's going to recognize you once you've set it up and you've entered your name and stuff and your information it's going to recognize you when you stand on the scale um, it's going to recognize the other people, so it can be set up to, to eight people. Now this does come in black or white, and this is going to set you back $129.95. Now this also connects to your dashboard on Fitbit.com. And once you have this set up, 
and you set your goal, it's going to let you know just how far off from your goal you actually are. And depending on your smartphone, which they increase the compatibility with different smartphones all the time, but if you have an iPhone or a Samsung um, uh, Galaxy class phone, it's going to sync with that. And like I said, they've added a bunch of new phones, so I don't know all the phones that now sync with this. But you can actually have it right on your phone, and I will show you here as I pull up my dashboard if it shows this. This is my dashboard, and it shows my stats for the day. Actually, add friends and kind of compete with them a little bit, and that helps with the motivation. Because um, if you see that you're behind a few steps for the week, because on that part of the app, it tracks um, your weekly progress. And if you see that, oh, I'm behind, you know, Joe down the road or whoever your friend is that you put on there, then you're more inclined to, oh, he's 100 steps ahead of me. Let me go out and, and walk an extra 100 steps. This is just a little review of all the different fitness trackers in the Fitbit line. They are great motivational tools and really help you get motivated towards achieving your goals, whether it's weight loss, maintaining, or just physical fitness. So, are you ready for whatever comes your way? I hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care. And this is Mr. Massachusetts Prepper's EDC for the winter. Nothing like some fun after a hard day's work.